she was able to write Ram Charitmanas on this branch. There was a hue and cry among the elite that what is this going to be done? And Tulsidas Ramcharitmanas is altogether a different perspective. The words that he used, the message and the way he portrayed the story of Sri Ram is totally different than that of Balmiki Ramayana. But then, and again about 60 years ago when Swami Chinmayan began after coming from the ashram of Tapuvan Maharaj's guru, he said he wants to spread this message for far and wide. So Tapuvan told him to wait for one year. If you can have at least four people in the audience, it will be good. It took him one year. Then when he began the commentaries on Upanishads and Bhagavad Gita, there was a human cry again from those the elite, but he continued. Today it is, our work is not a commentary on Bhagavad Gita because already there are so many commentaries. It is a new insights, a new meaning, a new chapter is being written. When we look at the Bhagavad Gita, okay, what, who wrote it? Was it written at the same time that it was being spoken? And how does child Krishna do to explain the sutras, 700 sutras of Bhagavad Gita to Arjun? The war has begun, the points have been blown, and he reached the message. And Arjun says, take my chariot between the two armies. There is a parallel that runs. Firstly, it is a direct message from Krishna to Arjun. And secondly, the other aspect of it. And when he is telling Krishna to take my chariot between the two armies, what that signifies? It signifies that peace zone where there is no conflict, there is no war. And this is the United Nations peace force when the two countries are fighting in parallel, the United Nations force that remains there and no one can attack that. So when Krishna and Arjuna is in that field, then there is no war. This sometimes comes to a state which is described as the state of no mind, when there is no conflict in you. There is this inner sky is totally clear. This is the first part that goes on. Then it begins with the message, the first sutra, that the only sutra, the blind king, Dhritarashtra speaks, Dharma Chetre, Guru Chetre, and then the first word that he used, Dharma Chetra. What does Dharma Chetra mean? The field of righteousness. How can there be righteousness when the Peace proposal is rejected. There is conflict between the two cousins. Can there be righteousness when husbands and wives are throwing words at each other and you are doing your prayer? No, it is no more dharma chakra. It has become a dharma chakra. But when say Vedavyas uses this word dharma chakra, why did he use this word? When there was a conflict, and a dharma has already begun. And right through Arjun, Duryodhana was continuing part of Adharma. Then why is he using the word? Can you understand the meaning of this word through your consciousness? Simply because you are, you can read English, do you think you can understand the message, the theory of relativity written by Albert Einstein? No. There is a certain discipline you have to go through that process. And only then one day you will be able to understand the theory of relativity. So is the case with the in the consciousness. It is merged in the totality and your consciousness. You are still trying to enter the primary school. So you have to pass the primary school, go through the college, reach to the field of research, 
And then you will be able to understand the words that Vidabhyas have used. This is means Gita Dhyana Sadhana. And one thing is that if I am speaking to the I do not want to tell you what is my topic. He said, what kind of thing is this? I must know what you are speaking on. But Vidabhyas does this. There is no chapter name given in the beginning. It says Pratumu Adhyaya. Because neither Krishna knows nor Vidam Vyas knows what he is going to see. There is no preset question, preset dialogue or anything. Arjuna asks the question and Krishna responds to it. It is the response of Krishna to Arjuna. This is why there is no chapter which is given, name is given in the beginning. And at the end he says, Dakmat Taksri Man Bhagavad Gita Su Upanishad Su Brahma Vidyayam Sri Krishna Arjun Samvade Arjun Vishad Yogunam Prathu Vajjaya Then we say after that he concludes that this chapter is nothing else but the explanation of Sri Krishna Arjun It is the category of Upanishad that is a dialogue between the one who knows and one who is ready to understand. And this is why it is called Upanishad. And Brahman Vidyayam, it is the ever expanding consciousness that is Krishna is speaking. And then he gives the name of the chapter. This we have to understand why did he do that. And then there is three parallel line goes on in Bhagavad Gita. First is Dhritarast and Sanjay Samvad. Dhritarast asks a question and this line of action begins from the first sutra, Dharma Chetre, Guru Chetre, Samvita, Yudhisthava. And this continues, the Sanjay continues to give the explanation of what he is seeing, what he is hearing Krishna is speaking to Arjuna. Then in the 78th Sutra of the 18th chapter, he concludes, he gives the answer to the question that was posed in the first place. The, where there is Yogesha Krishna, where there is Dhanundhar, mighty archer like Arjuna, certainly there has to be victory. This is my suggestion, this is my advice, and Mati means when a minister gives the the secretary gives the advice to the prime minister, it is known as Mati. And then this is the first line of action that we know as Bhagavad Gita. The second is Krishna Arjun Samvad. Because that is what Vedavya says, Sri Krishna Arjun Samvad. And this begins when Arjun asks the first question which is the Sutra 21st of the first chapter. He asks a question. Krishna begins in response. And the first Arjuna continues with the questions. And then in the last Sutra of the 18th chapter, the first Sutra of the 18th chapter, Arjuna again asks a question. Then, Krishna continues 71 sutras up to 72nd sutra and in that last sutra of the 72nd Krishna declares before that he said the Sarvadamada Panitijya but the last sutra he said he addresses Arjuna first as Partha and for the first time he addresses Arjun as Dhananjay. Dhan, it is, comes from two words. Dhan, the money, the wealth, the opulence, any kind of resources that can be used. And then Jay means victory. You have now attained victory over opulence, victory over money, victory over resources. And it declares that you are enlightened now. But then where is the methodology of Krishna that Vedavyas narrates that 
and that begins with the first sutra that Krishna is called, which is Uttashtra Kashmanamitam, Vishnamisam Pastitam. The first sutra that Krishna speaks is the second sutra of the second chapter, Uttashtra Kashmanamitam Vishnamisam Pastitam. Where did this kind of influences come and do you know what to You belong to art and plan. You are a mighty archer. Where this situation has come upon you, unless the master can speak these words, there is no way he can transform you. When you are speaking to your child, and the child is feeling a pain and a pain and not able to grasp the matter, he said, how can you say you are a strong man? You know everything and you can climb the tree, and you are just going to climb up on the chair. No, I am there. You plan, you make an effort, and I will help you. Unless and until the teacher can bring down these words to the student, there can be no transformation. These are the three lines of actions that simultaneously goes on in Bhagavad Gita. So, firstly, in order to reach to the level of understanding of Veda Vyas, you have to go through the Gita Dhyana Sadhana. How to begin it? Somewhere your first step is that you have a Bhagavad Gita in your hand. Then you are trying to understand as the crash did it. Because he could not hear what Sadhana Krishna was saying. Because his consciousness was mocking. And in the first sutra which the book will be coming between me, Tausha Buddha and Swami Dhyan Yatra, the re the English version of Bhagavad Gita, the first sutra, because according to Hindu scriptures, it begins with path, thus, it is a continuation. Pathatu means there is no break, instead, it is a continuation of what I have heard in the past. Nara begins the Nara Bhakti Sutra, Athato Bhakti Vyakya Syama. Now I am beginning to speak on Bhakti. When we look at Brahma Sutra, Athato Brahma Vidya Sayam, now I am speaking on Brahma Vidya. This goes on Athato Ath, thus, thus guided by the impending loom of destruction, that loom over the mental horizon of the blind king, sleeplessly we wander in the dark windows of ignorance, with all the windows of the mind shut. No way of life was in talking, thus agitated in loving consciousness is called Osanthya. Explain to me what the my children and that of Pandu is doing on the battlefield. So we have to go step by step into the methodology of Bhagavad Gita because this is Sanskrit. And Sanskrit is not a language which is easily understandable. And not only that, the only language has emerged from silence. When many years ago my grandmother, the Sufi master, told me that you should try to learn the languages like Sanskrit, Urdu and Persian because most of the work is in that language. I said, I am not interested in any language. If you can teach me something, teach me the language of silence, because it is out of silence all the other languages emerge. And meditation leads to you in the state of inner silence, inner harmony, and then the insights begin to emanate. You will begin to understand the message of Bhagavad Gita. Once I heard a person, he was illiterate, he was sitting on the banks of the river Yamuna trying to read the Bhagavad Gita. A learned person happened to pass by and he said, What are you doing? He said, I am reading, listening to Krishna. Not reading Bhagavad Gita, I am listening to Krishna. He said, But then, how are you reading there? The book is put upside down. That is not how it's supposed to be. And the person started giving him the lecture on Bhagavad Gita and profusely the tears began to flow from his eyes and he said that I am only telling Krishna that you are all more 
I am ignorant one. I cannot understand you unless your grace comes on me. So do not take, I cannot understand the message unless your grace, your kindness comes on to me and explains to me. I cannot become your Arjun, but certainly you are Krishna. You can explain this to me. And tears were flowing from his eyes. Then the man, the learned man, the scholar, bowed down and touched his feet. He said, You have understood the message of Bhagavad Gita. Not I. Bhagavad Gita is not to be understood in the words, it is between the lines. When Krishna was speaking to Arjuna, do you think Krishna is spoke to Arjuna or Arjuna asked Krishna? Ask the question. I can speak on my own authority that Arjuna did not ask any question and Krishna did not speak. It is a silent communion. Arjuna was ready and in that state, just a glance and everything is transferred onto Arjuna. And what will be a Because if I give you a cup of tea to drink, or if you are very nice in your delicacy and make it and give it to you to eat, you have a mouthful and I ask you, can you tell me how it tastes you? Can you do the action and give the narration? It happened I heard that my younger brother, once a teacher told him to make a sentence and do the action also. So, make an action. So, this is a normal thing I am writing like that. So, my brother did. Uh, he said, What are you doing? Uh, he said, Say the sentence first. Uh, Tell me what is that? I am opening my mouth. How can you open your mouth and speak? No, it cannot be done. Either you can open your mouth or you can speak. So when you are tasting something, you cannot write, you cannot say. You cannot tell me how this food or the tea is tasting, you will taste it first, the experience comes afterwards. This is how the Gita happened. And Vedavyas is also known as Krishna another incarnation of Krishna. So Bhagavad and Vedavyas was far away from there. Krishna was speaking to Arjun. Vishnu Pitano, he got the inkling that something is definitely going on between Krishna and Arjuna, but he was not able to decide for anyone because he was on the wrong side. He was following, he was supporting the path of unrighteousness, knowing it. And then Dronachar did not care, Duryodhan was out of question. Dhritarast heard it through Sanjay, and Sanjay heard everything that was going on in the battlefield. But neither Sanjay nor Dhritarashtra was transformed. There was no transformation. Sanjay narrated the entire story. Dhritarashtra heard the entire story. Were you transformed? No. Vidhu was nowhere in the picture. He has completely alienated himself the moment the Dhritarashtra was signing the Guru. And then he heard it meditatively. Vedavyas could feel that and he could recite, explain this. The Bhagavad Gita happened first and was written afterwards. He called the experience comes first, then the words come in. This is what we are intending to do in, through Gita and Sadhana. The, the first issue which is available internationally, you can just Google the name Gita Dhyan Sadhana. And this is going to be a quarterly journal. There is a difference between the magazine and the journal. Journal is of something of research quality. When there is an international journal of medical science or psychiatry, it is it contains the articles which need to be introspected, digested deep within your consciousness. And as these are digesting into you, they are changing your level of consciousness. You are crossing the standard one and you are coming to the standard two. Then you are, when you finish this school, then you enter the secondary school 
and many university and thereafter you begin your research. This is Bhagavad Gita Dhyan Sadhana is research in the message of Krishna. And thereafter, with the research, three months is enough for you to digest that subject matter. Thereafter, the other will come in. And Swami Arun Nilamba, this is his project. I am simply supporting him. It is he who designs the articles. It is he who designs everything and he tells me what will be the next issue of Meditation Times. And then we will then not only that. And just a few days ago he told me that we are beginning a new journal also being on Ramayana and Ramachandimanas. So it will be a Ramayana called Rama Vigyan Sarova, International Journal. So these the frequency will be quarterly, four issues will be published for the year and these are available along with meditation times free of charge. The books that you saw that are written by me on various topics and it is for you if you have an interest, you can get an access on the Amazon.com. I have just spoken an introduction because of the time factor there were certain factors which were beyond our control and when someone gets the microphone they do not want to leave it so I do not want to be that way. So only this much for this morning an introduction to Gita Dhyana Sadhana Feel free if you have any questions, you can mail it to us, we will respond. The email addresses, the telephone numbers, all our people. I am available at your disposal and rest assured when you send me a mail, you are bound to get a response. And those who have interest in writing, if you can write one paragraph, I will do for our editors of the number will do the rest. And this is what he says. We are not interested in your clothes, we are interested in your awareness. If you can write one paragraph, we will do the rest. We will modify it, we will improve it, and but we do not definitely want like a jute patch in a silk fabric because the ambience as you look on the screen, it is of top quality. This is why it has been rated very highly and it has been uploaded one night about 11 o'clock, half 10 and by next morning there were over 100 downloads of Gita Dhyan Sadhana worldwide. Every time I publish anything, there is a tremendous response because people know what this person is capable of and whatever subject matter, whatever it comes in, it has been presented in that form. With this, 